Oh, hi class. Today's lesson is on a subject I know you've all been very excited to learn about. Teach mode. Last month, we brought together an alpha group to test our curriculum. And today we want to show you how to use it, along with a case study of one of the assignments that they worked on. And before the end of class, we have a very special surprise for all of you. Before we begin, let's go over how teach mode works. You start by demonstrating a lesson in rabbit hole. Just like if I asked my students to watch me perform a task in class, you do the same by teaching Rabbit to perform an online action. With teach mode, you don't need to be an engineer or know how to write code. It only takes a few minutes. All you need to do is teach it once, and it's saved as a lesson in your library. And that's not all. You can replay a lesson immediately or modify lessons in real time to be tailored to your specific needs. So without further ado, let's get, hop right to it with lesson one. Teach a new lesson. All right, I know you guys are really excited to see this in action, so let's get to it with teaching a new lesson from scratch. So the first thing you're gonna wanna do is decide your destination. What website are you going to? For today's lesson, I've chosen Runway ML. It's a cool generative video platform that we're going to train teach mode to utilize. So I'm gonna go ahead and type the destination in right here and click start teaching. And we're off. This is the login page on the left. It's where you log in inside of teach mode. And because I've already logged in today, it has me remembered. Great. So now we can click over to teach and let's begin teaching the lesson. So I'm gonna name this lesson, create a video. And in the task description, you're gonna to wanna to describe everything you want it to accomplish. So I've written it out here and I'm just, it's all the steps on Runway's website. So I'm gonna go ahead and type click generative video from the left side menu. And I'll go click in the text field. Then I'll say type a rabbit driving an orange car. And then lastly, click generate. Those are all the steps. So now we're ready to teach. So it's gonna go ahead and load the page up and now I'm going to show teach mode how to do all those steps. It's watching me right now and it's gonna follow along as I first click generative video. It's gonna load the next page and then I'm going to click in the text field here and type a rabbit driving an orange car. And then I'm going to click generate. And as you can see, it's starting to generate the video right now. So I'm gonna go ahead and click process because those are all of the steps. And teach mode is gonna go ahead and begin processing that. So let's go ahead and give it a few seconds, probably more like minutes, but I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of homework done while it's loading. Okay, and you can see status has changed to processed in just a couple minutes. And that means that your lesson is now done. So if I jump back over to teach mode and click my lessons, you can see creative videos in there. Now let's jump over to runway and just see real quick. Oh, we've got a video here that was made during that first lesson that I taught it. So pretty cool, but I did do this one manually. Let's go ahead and replay the lesson and get R1 to do it. Beta Rabbit, can you create a video using a lesson from teach mode from my lessons. And I want you to instead type 
a spooky Halloween rabbit in the text box. And there's a cool little UI on our one when you're recalling a teach mode lesson with an orange bar that fills up so you can see how far along it is. We're about three quarters, if not more. Oh, the text in the text field. it just loaded all the way and click on the button to start the generation process. There it goes, hitting the final step. process has been initiated. If you need any further assistance or adjustments, feel free to let me know. Okay, cool. So it should be generating. Let's see if we can view it yet. It does take some time. Oh, you can see right here, we have a video loading. So asked R1 to recall a teach mode lesson and changed the text. So it's actually going to be a different video than the one I taught it to show that teach mode can be flexible and adjust to different settings and different texts and different things for each prompt. So it will never, it can, but it doesn't have to do the exact same thing every time. It can be custom each time. So as for a spooky Halloween rabbit, let's see what we get. Whoa, what do we have here? Click this. It looks kind of scary. All right, class, we just went over the fundamentals of how to teach and replay a lesson. Next, let's have a look at how teach mode can help to make a complex task simpler. Oh, all right, let's jump right in. Clicking the teach mode tab, I'm gonna go over to my lessons and I'm gonna do this one right here, the second, click replay. So that's gonna go ahead and open up a previous lesson I taught. I trained this one to start on websim.ai. So I'm going to click replay and let it, let it rip. So it's starting the replay. And as you can see in the description up here, my lesson was click the generate bar and type, create a website for an online shop that sells hats with carrot decals and call the shop Carrot Top. Shout out Carrot Top. And as you can see, WebSim is on the job. This is through the VNC and under the teach mode tab. You can see the task is going. It's typing in my prompt, carrot top. Hmm. And you can see it loading there. And boom. Carrot top. We've got hats. Of course, we still got to design the hats. Oh, no, those are even there. So, full website in one sip of tea. Pretty cool. Now that you've seen how Teach Mode can make a complex task quick and simple, let's have a look at a community case study to see one of the remarkable lessons taught by our alpha testers. Our alpha testers. Yeah, they've been really hard at work over the past month trying teach mode on all sorts of different websites. You can see a bunch of the lessons here. So I have one of theirs ready to show you today. I'm gonna go click save from community and this one's titled run my go to bed automation. Really cool one from one of our alpha testers actually connecting R1 and rabbit hole to Google home, which you can see it's loading right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and click replay to run the lesson. Now remember, you can also trigger this from device, but for this situation, I just want to show you guys from rabbit hole and give you the visual representation. So you can see it's off. And it's not the fastest Google command, but it will get better in time. And this is just to show you guys what teach it mode is capable of. So I think with that, we're gonna wrap it up Go to bedtime. It's getting close to my bedtime, so good night. There you have it. Teach mode is officially on the way. 
I hope you've had a lot of fun learning how to create, replay, and modify lessons. As you can see, this technology has so much potential. Before Teach Mode at LAM Playground, it used to take hours or even days to complete some complex tasks online. You'd have to manually search for the right app, navigate across multiple apps, and then put everything together on your own. But now, with Teach Mode at LAM Playground, it only takes minutes to create agents to do all the heavy lifting for you. So if you've been wondering, what can R1 do that your phone cannot do? Well, now you've seen it. R1 can do so much that a phone can't do. Before I let you go, it's time for that special surprise I mentioned at the beginning of the class. Registration for our Teach Mode beta testing program is now open. So here's your homework. Go sign up for the waitlist at rabbit.tech today. Class dismissed.